Welcome back. A population shift is taking place across the nation, including in Denver. New data released by the Census Bureau finds more and more people are saying so long to the suburbs and moving back to the big city. Realtor Wade Perry is here. Thank you so much for coming in. It's always a pleasure, Corey. So why this shift? Well, there's two real demographics that are mo making this move. Um, families still want to be in the suburbs, obviously, for space and, and living arrangements. But when I look at the two demographics that are making this move, you have young professionals mm -hmm. and then you have empty nesters. They're moving for different reasons. Um, the reason why they want to leave, the young professional in high school, they were watching the 08, 09, 10, 11 yeah. real estate downturn. They saw the, the foreclosures. They saw the evictions, and it was a really a tough time for them, and they have a kind of a bad taste about that area. The empty nester is saying, I don't want to pay for, I don't want to maintain, I don't want to take care of all of this living space that, right. quite frankly, we no longer use. So the reasons for leaving are different with each of these, but their attraction is the same, and that is I could walk or I could bike to work, which adds a little peace of mind, yeah, less, ga get less gasoline expense on the monthly budget. Um, I can go to restaurants that aren't big chains, uh, shopping, sporting events, more entertainment, more museums. Uh, those are all attractions that they like. <laughs> so there's, there's different reasons for them wanting to leave the suburbs, right. but the reasons for wanting to come to the downtown metro areas are the same. Okay, and you have two city homes that you're going to show us. We do, and they're, they're both close in. Right now, we're looking at 1240 Downing Street, and this just came on the market, and Corey, this is a three-bedroom, one bath. It has a walk-in master closet. It has a gas fireplace, refinished hardwood floors, wow. a two-car garage, it's four blocks west of Cheeseman Park and 10 blocks north of Cherry Creek. You had me a walk-in closet. <laughs> well, here, yes. <laughs> and, yes, that's an important thing, and let's face it. Uh, your better half doesn't get any of that closet, does he? <laughs> no, never. Exactly. Never. Priced at only 375000 okay. So somebody could sell their larger home in, say, Centennial or Highlands Ranch and get into town, not sacrifice their lifestyle, and actually get to do more of the things that they want to do. It's very nice. All right, let's go to the second one. You bet. The second property is actually very close by. It's at 3720 Ooh. East First Avenue. This is number A, so it's on the end unit. These are on First Avenue, just uh, two blocks west of Colorado Boulevard. So think about your proximity to walking to Cherry Creek right. for restaurants, for shopping. Uh, this particular townhome is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Your laundry is on the same level as the bedrooms. It has a sunny bonus room. As I mentioned, it's walking distance to Cherry Creek Mall, Cranmer Park, restaurants and shopping, and it has an attached two-car garage, and this close to town, all for $385,000. Wow. Again, just came on the market. It is beautiful. So people who are looking to move from down south and they don't want to take care of stuff or pay for things, these are two options that people could go out and look at tomorrow. Yeah. They could put an offer. They could be moving in 30, 40 days. It's a good choices that you brought in this morning. Realtor Wade Perry, thank you so Thanks, much for Corey. coming in. You bet. We'll put all this on inews.com. We'll be right back.